Hello and welcome to Jira Workflow Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the Jira Workflow Validators. So in the, in the past tutorials, we have seen about the Jira Workflow Conditions. Now we'll see the Validators and the Post Functions in the next tutorial. So to go to the uh, Jira Workflow, uh, we'll go to the Admin section of Jira and then in the left hand side click on workflows and we'll open the workflow that we are working in this tutorial so rcv jira workflow tutorial and click on edit it now we are in the text mode at the moment let's go to the diagram mode and see the workflow and if you click on any of the transition here you will see the triggers conditions validators so we have covered triggers we have covered conditions now let's see what validators are so if I click on validators it will take me to the new window and the transition is currently um, in testing so it is which is in development reopened um, uh, from status to in development and reopened uh, to move it to, into the in testing status now at the moment no input parameters checks will be done before this transition is executed so validators is basically uh, if you click on add validator it will take you to the um, different validator section or different validators that are available at the moment so Zephyr, uh, Zephyr validator is the validator which has been introduced because I have in installed the Zephyr uh, plugin which is the test management plugin for Jira but uh, otherwise by default you have the permission validator and the user permission validator uh, but there are other um, add-ons that you can use to get more permission or, or more validator options here as well now if i say permission validator so what it does it it validates that the user has a permission to do something right so like in the condition we had added a condition that user must be a part of developers group to move an issue from um, in progress to testing because a person who is in development team will be working on the issue or on the user story to do the code and, and then move it to the testing now in the permission validator you can verify that the permission that the user has the right set of permission to move the issue so so um, let's um, let's add a permission validator and then what you need to you will get is you you will get the permission um, drop down which is basically what what permission you want to check for that particular um, permission validator so whether um, administer project or browse project or manage sprint so what all permissions are um, there uh, need to be there when a user you know you want uh, him to move an issue so for example issue permission so whether um, if only if a person is part of the development group and has this permission then you will allow um, the user to move a issue from particular uh, status to another status so now if here we choose another say you know we'll say edit or we'll say edit issue permission right or we'll say just say um, browse project permission just to keep it simple so that if a person has browse project permission then he should be able to transition an issue um, from in development or reopen state to in testing state right so if a person doesn't have browse permission for this particular project where you will be um, implementing this Jira workflow then he won't be able to transition an issue and now please remember all these things work um, you know in sync so a condition has to be met as well as whatever you are setting in the validator has to be met uh, only then you will be able to transition an issue so in previous tutorial we have seen we have set up a condition that um, a person needs to be in the group developers as well as only reporter of the issue can execute this transition so we'll remove this one we don't want to over complicate this we'll just say only users in group developers can execute 
transition and then we'll add one validator which we have only users with browse project permissions can execute this transition now as with conditions you can add multiple conditions similarly with validators you can add multiple validators as well so if you go ahead and want to add multiple validators uh, from the list you can choose other validators as well and add those now i won't add other validators so that's pretty much all about the validators in jira workflow tutorial thank you for watching